Here we're going to make a Blu-ray menu, decent looking Blu-ray menu, just using Photoshop and Toast without fussing with Encore and Sonarist and stuff like that. This is my Final Cut project file for a music video that I produced recently. We are going to export this using Compressor as an MPEG-2. So go to File, Export, using Compressor. And Compressor doesn't have a preset for Blu-ray. It has one for HD DVD. What we're going to do is use that preset, but we're going to duplicate it and alter it so it will work for Blu-ray. You see here the HD DVD MPEG-2. We're going to click on the MPEG-2 preset. And we're going to duplicate this preset so that we can edit it. I'm going to rename the preset to Blu-ray so later on I can use it again. I know what it is. And what we're going to change is the stream usage. So click here and on stream usage change that to Blu-ray. And save it. Now we can click and drag this preset onto our Final Cut file that we've exported into Compressor. We're also going to need to add some audio because it is a music video. Grab the Dolby Digital 2.0 from any of the folders. And what I'm going to do here is rename it so that I get rid of all the junk on the end that I don't really like have it on there and you want to make sure that they're named the same thing that way when you drag the MPEG into Toast it will bring the audio AC3 in with it. We're gonna set where these files will end up once they're encoded. I'm gonna put them on the desktop in a new folder named KB keep on Blu-ray files. So now the encoded M2V or MPEG-2 and AC3 or Dolby Digital file will end up on my desktop in that folder. Click Submit in both spots. And if you go down to the history and click the twirly for today, you'll see it is now encoding the two files. Once it's done encoding, Go to your finder and you'll find the two files. Drag the MPEG-2 or the M2V in onto the Toast window and you'll see there it is. Click the edit button and get rid of all the text in these three text boxes. If you don't, they'll appear on your DVD menu. I set my chapter markers to none for this particular track. Go down to Options and click the little menu thumbnail. Delete the text in this text box so it also will not appear on the final Blu-ray menu. I changed the button highlight color to the Major League Motoring Blue, which is complementary to the menu that I have created. Click on the magnifying glass to see a larger preview of the menu as it is right now. Even though we've deleted my movie, it still appears on the preview, but don't worry, that won't appear on your final disc. Using Shift Control Command 4, I'm clicking and dragging to create a snapshot of this menu preview. You'll see what I'm going to do with that in just a second in Photoshop. Go to the Disk tab. Delete the text from this text box so it will not appear on the final DVD. Click the Encoding tab. And it's important to set Re-encoding to Never. That way Toast won't re-encode the MPEG that you've already encoded in Compressor. 
Move over to Photoshop, and here we have the menu that I've created. Note the image size, 1920 by 1080 at 72 resolution. Also note, the pixel aspect ratio is set to square. Notice the blank spot in the middle of the menu. You'll see why this is in just a second. Command V to paste the snapshot you took of the preview menu from the toast window. I changed the opacity and resize to fit inside my menu window. The only thing we're not able to get rid of from Toast is the video box that it will place on top of our menu. You can see how it's laid out here and design your menu around it. Hide the snapshot layer and then save your menu for use in Toast. I like to save as a flat TIFF file. Now if your Toast project had more tracks, there would be more video boxes to work around. It's easy to do, just take a snapshot and design your menu around it. Now that we've saved this file as a TIFF, we're going to be dragging it into a Toast. So in Toast, click the menu thumbnail again, and you'll see it says drag image here. Go to the finder and click and drag your thumbnail onto the menu preview. Click the magnifying glass and you'll see how it's going to look with the video box on top. Even though it says my movie, don't worry, that won't appear on your final disc as long as you've deleted the text in the boxes as we did earlier. Next step is to set the image that will show up in that video box. To do this, click on the thumbnail of your MPEG in the Toast window. A scrub bar will come up. Find a nice still that represents your video or complements your menu. Here's a good one of KB and Ace inside the army truck. Next, make sure your recorder is set to your Blu-ray burner. Click the big red record button and hit record. Toast will multiplex the DVD. It will fill the RAM cache. And it will write the BDMV video. How long this takes all depends on your burn speed and the amount of data going to the disk. Once it's finished, eject the disk and test it out in your set-top Blu-ray player. This is a simple and efficient way to deliver Blu-ray content to your clients with a decent looking menu without involving other advanced software. Thanks for watching.